Mino, welcome back to another really beautiful day. Today we're gonna to be playing with something that I actually started playing with a long time ago. This was, I uh, look, we were cleaning up my living room and I saw Waiting for Aphrodite, which is actually above my fireplace. And I was looking at it and looking at it and I was like, yeah, I haven't played with house paint for a really long time. So we're gonna play with some house paint today. Um, this is Bare Paint and Primer in One. And I have added Floetrol to it to thin it out. And then at the last minute, I added just a little bit, maybe a few teaspoons of satin enamels in neutral beige, just to warm it up a little bit so it's not pure, pure, pure white. So this is our house paint that we're gonna lay down as our base coat. Um, I have three or four other colors that are really cool. This one is Golden's Quinacridone Burnt Orange, which I absolutely love. It's one of my favorite colors ever in terms of depth of color and just <sighs> deliciousness, it's awesome. So that's Quinacridone Golden's. Golden's Quinacridone Burnt Orange. The next one we have is Modern Masters in Olympic Gold. This, this is the Olympic Gold. It's a really pretty color. I really like that a lot. Everything is mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Floetrol and the paint. Now, a quick note about these Modern Masters ones. These are on sale for my, at Michael's for $3 each and it's three ounces, I think. Yeah, oh, six ounces, sorry. Um, it's good paint. And if you're gonna do something with it that you don't need a lot of paint, it's probably gonna be awesome. But because I'm using the house paint that is gonna kind of swallow up some of the color, I have added a lot more paint than I usually do, about twice as much because these are kind of thin and not very, very highly pigmented. You could still use it, you're just gonna end up using a little bit more paint to get that extra pigment if you want the deeper color. Otherwise they would all wash out with Floetrol. So that's the Olympic Gold. I also have this one, which I really like. This is their Burnt Orange and semi-opaque. Modern Masters is very pretty. It's a really pretty color. Kind of reminds me of Fire Opal or what I'd like Fire Opal to be like. <laughs> but I think these two are gonna be really cool next to each other. So that's awesome. That's the Burnt Orange. This last one of Modern Masters is the Antique Bronze, which is very cool. So it's kind of a brownie bronze, which I'm actually happy about. Okay. And then last but not least, I was just downstairs going through my colors, thinking I kind of needed something dark. So I came across a tube of Amsterdam Indigo. This is from their Expert series. And I think this will do cool things. So like I said, because we're using the white house paint that's gonna kind of swallow up some of the color, I wanted to use things that were highly pigmented. So that's why we're using the indigo instead of just a phthalo blue. Okay, it's a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. It is leveled and the back is taped. And I have my push pins in. And we're gonna lay down our base coat. So there's that. Okay. All right. We're not gonna need all of this, but I might do another pour after this, so. Let's just kind of tilt that out first. The house paint is cool because it's, you know, very silky and smooth, especially when you put the Floetrol in it, it really just glides around a lot. I like that I added the neutral beige to it, so it's not quite so glaringly white. A little bit warmer. And I think actually the paint is Swiss coffee, it's not white. Anyhow, so. Swiss coffee is what? Brown mixed with white? Hang on, it's a brown, yeah, I got all white. Yeah. But I like it. Get the last corner. So your base coat is really, really important. Um, take the time to put your base coat down right and make sure that your edges and corners are all covered up because it makes such a big difference when you're painting, when you're pouring, in terms of how things move. I have put base coats down before where it was not as thick around the corners and edges and then when I got to those parts, it didn't move the way it was supposed to because there wasn't a proper base coat on there. There's a piece of calf here. sides are covered. So 
I'm feeling pretty happy right now because that went on really easy, which means that it's the right consistency. I'm actually gonna take a minute and scrape what's on my table into my cup again so that I can use it again. Okay, so that's ready to go. Let's layer a cup. Now, I think what I wanna do is do a ring pour and stretch it out. I don't wanna do 21 ounces of ring pour. I wanna have like 15 ounces or 16 ounces, just one cup, and then kind of stretch that out and maybe do some other things around it. Okay, so in the center, I want a little bit of gold. And then some of that, well, let's do this one first. Let's do this. Modern Masters burnt orange. And then we'll do the Golden's burnt orange. Let's come in with some of our bronze now. And I'm going to put some of the blue in there. I think I'm going to put a little bit of this. For some contrast, I'll break that up a little bit. I don't want to use a lot because it's thinner than that. Let's do that again. I'm going to put some of the burnt orange in this time, and then the gold. And this burnt orange. And the bronze this time. That's really pretty. I like that bronze and some of the blue. I'm dripping off the side of the cup. I'm gonna do that same thing with the white again. Okay, let's torch this real quick. Let's pour this. We're going to do it right in the center. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Okay, here we go. Sticks the landing with a tail. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Let's torch it. So there is satin enamels in this. And look, just that tiny bit of white that we put in. to develop. Let's kind of go side to side a little bit and see how it moves. I have tons of cells in there. Wow. Okay, let's tilt. Let's go down to that corner first. Just right there at the edge, it started to roll over itself. Okay.
I think I'm gonna go down to that corner first. that white to start popping through just like that shift this back towards the center a little bit Okay, so what's happening in here? The house paint effect is happening along the edges, which is cool, that's what I wanted to happen. Um, some parts of this are very cool and I like them and some parts not so much. So, let's see. I love this, I love this, I really like this. I love this. This is cool. Not crazy about that. What do you think? I like that. Do you? A little bit. Find it cool if you stretch it out this way. I'm gonna take it down here and get rid of some of this here. Clear. Is that better? Still. Keep going that way. Which way? This way. Yeah. Okay. Got the Olympic flame. <laughs> I don't know if I love it. Pour it till you love it, brother. What is it? Angie Mason says, pour it till you're sorry. <laughs> She's so cute. I kind of think I want to pour some more because I don't like that I put the white in there with it. So I want to try something a little different this time. Okay. I'm going to put some indigo in there. And the copper, or the bronze. And the burnt orange. And some gold. see this is where I had the burnt orange next to the bronze and that's where I had it next to the red I thought I loved that a lot more but apparently I like this better but this does look cool all right put a little bit in there arguments with myself in my head <laughs> it's all part of the process hey man no okay so there's no white in this cup Take this down and tilt some of this off.
That's better. All right. Let's torch that real quick. I do like all these cells around the corner, though. <laughs> This is why I have to dry my hands because if they're wet, then it. It's so funny that there's just the tiniest bit of white in the center from what was in the cup before. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do I like most? I like that most, but I like this too this time. Let's go this way first. Kind of sad to lose that because it's really cool, but maybe we'll make it happen again. I like that a lot better. All right, so what we've done here now is because that house paint was underneath and is a different consistency than the other paint that I poured on it, it is gonna start coming up around the corners and edges. And especially since we tilted this a lot and stretched all the sides out, it's definitely, I'm not sure I'm crazy about that part right there. I have to take that one.
center back towards the center and collapsing a little bit so it's not quite so spread out. Okay. That's cool. I like that a lot better. I like what the colors are doing. Kind of looks like a comet. I do want to take it down a little bit more though. I can hear the canvas singing. <laughs> I can hear it too. Can you? Okay. Look, HOA, it looks like flames over there. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> <laughs> you labor the point every single time I see it. So. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, cool. I decorated myself. Let's torch this one more time. So that's pretty awesome. I like that a lot. I love what the Golden's Burnt Orange is doing, always, of course. I really like this with the little bit of the Modern Masters Burnt Orange and that, uh, what was it, Olympic Gold? And of course the Indigo is amazing. So this was fun. Wasn't originally what I was, I don't know, maybe I was thinking of doing like a marbling one. But this is what I did with Waiting for Aphrodite with having the base coat underneath, but that one had a lot more cells because I used the white in the pore as well too. But I love how it's just this tiny little bit of white in there in the middle, that's cool. Oh, so this one's awesome. I think it should go like this for you guys. This is really nifty, that's really nifty. I'm gonna stop putting my hands over it so I don't drip it. <laughs> okay, I just snorted, that was awesome. I want to just take this down just a tiny bit, mostly to open up the side and allow some cells to start popping up over here. Because that's what's happening, that's why these cells are happening, is because the paint that I've poured on it, on the edges, I've stretched out very thin, and so that white house paint is coming up through there. But there's some also really cool little, looks like that Modern Masters burnt orange coming through. Look at the itty bitty cells. Okay. So this is really cool. I will show you guys when it's dry. Okay, so this is actually the next day and this one dried pretty fast, which I'm happy about because I get to show it to you guys today. Um, <laughs> this one turned out pretty cool. I really, really like the dark indigo in there. I think that's awesome. It makes me really happy and gives it a, a darker contrast against all of those beautiful burnt oranges but the Goldens and the Modern Masters ones. I love this part right here. This is the coolest thing. It's so neat. And of course we have our little white, as Sarah calls them, snowflakey cells from the house paint. But that's pretty cool. The gold is really pretty. I like that Olympic gold from Modern Masters. That's cool. I like this part up here too, on top of the ring part. That's really trippy. Very pretty. Lots of snowflakey cells up there on that side. Gail is here, blowing. <laughs> Trying to get my attention. This turned out pretty cool though. So I do like this piece. There's a couple parts I'm not in love with. Um, this part down here looks a little murky to me. Uh, that's where the indigo is on the bottom and then on top of it is some of that bronze and the modern masters burnt orange But actually, it's kind of neat. There's all these little teeny tiny cells that are Popping up in there. I don't know if you guys can see it But from far away, it just looks a little I don't know murky ish to me in that bottom left corner But I do like the rest of it. I love this corner and I love the top and I really like the left top corner. It's just that bottom left corner I'm not crazy about. <laughs> but I love that indigo in there and I really like the indigo because it provides a lot of contrast and a lot of depth and uh, kind of giving this sort of a shadowy feeling. So this one is gonna be Shadow Realm because we've been watching a lot of Avengers lately. <laughs> but this, there's parts of it that are amazing. Like up here, I really, really, really like this part in here but that's just so cool 
and that was of course up here in the very corner where those white lines are that's the remnants remnants of our first bore that had the white in it and that part's awesome and the center that's so funny to me that there was just this tiniest bit of white left in the bottom of the cup for the second part we didn't add any white remember and it still came through and sort of did that electrified lightning fish skeleton thing <laughs> I know I'm weird but that's okay but I think when this is completely completely dry it could definitely use a coat of varnish on it and it will make that sparkle a lot more because the bronze is a metallic and the Olympic gold was a metallic and so was that modern masters burnt orange so I think it'll be pretty cool when it's dry I also wanted to show you guys my Allo Cameroni eye which is right next to it and blooming <laughs> and the hummingbirds keep going over there I love those things they're so cool as it gets colder they start to turn more red so that one you can see it's been down in the 40s here at night <laughs> but I am very grateful that we don't have snow and I am hoping and praying for everybody that is affected by that crazy storm you know especially the poor people in Texas that are going through all this power outages right now I hope everything works out and stops snowing very soon so this is our shadow realm and I did paint another one after this so we will see one more with a house paint and uh, it was pretty cool thank you guys so much for being here with us today um, Gina DeLuca has a premiere right after this and after hers is the Massey Art Studio Boys they have a premiere I believe at let's see, 10, 10 30, 11 so 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time so thank you guys for being here I will see you guys next time have a beautiful, beautiful day. Stay warm, stay safe, okay? Bye, guys.